guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a shop with me through my Dollar Tree. Stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, I typically do a lot of Dollar Tree related videos, some hauls, some organizing. Please check me out and subscribe below. Okay, so right at the front, as I'm sure is with your Dollar Trees as well, is the back to school stuff. So many different kinds of school supplies. There was this display of assorted backpacks in solid colors. It looked like maybe there were four or five different colors, but there might be more. These seem to be a bit on the thin side, so I'm going to pass on these. I have not given these tech essential wipes a try, but we're gonna give this a go because we always have smudged screens how nice is it that Dollar Tree has binders of different sizes? They didn't always used to have the one and a half inch. I like too that they have binders that have a display pocket in the front and the back. And yes, all sorts of different kinds of pencils and highlighters. The thin ones are the ones I tend to use the most. So let me get a pack of those. And oh my gosh, yes, they have these larger glue sticks, which for some reason are so, so expensive in the store, I feel like. So we're gonna grab one just in case we need to. They also have some of the Crown Jewels brand, like in these notebooks here. up a couple of calendars as well. How nice that they have the large print calendars if you have trouble seeing. All sorts of configurations of calendars. Some are multi-pack, some are dry erase, others are like desk calendars. And also at the front are the display cases, some of the fall decor with owls and foxes and squashes and pine cones. How fun! Oh my gosh! I think this is the third set. These are a raccoon, a triceratops, a narwhal, and a sloth. There was also some decor that's related to pets and then, and some of these quotations on wood looked really nice. So much fall decor. I have not bought any yet, but how cute is this witch's hat frame? I'm still on the lookout for the bicycle one. I have a feeling that time has come and gone. I don't think they ever came to my Dollar Tree, to be honest, but that's okay. No biggie. Onto the craft section, not a whole ton of new items, but in the kitchen section, I was finally able to see these charger plates. Wouldn't these look so nice as wall decor? These could be so, so pretty. I saw more tumblers with monogram letters in gray and teal. And in the glass section, the only thing that I 
saw that I have not seen before are these drinking glasses. I am finally going to buy one of these drawer organizers. Yeah, I'm looking for something to hold stuff at the kitchen sink, like the soap and the lotion. And shout out to Melissa T for letting me know about these foil sheets. I just bought a bunch of foil, so I won't get these this time. But for some reason, I've never noticed that Dollar Tree has their own kinds of foil sheets. This one says it's 20% more. In the laundry section, I saw these fabric softener sheets in the honeysuckle. And look at all these lip smackers. I love when they have displays like this. It just looks so nice. This is a restore and repair overnight mask in lavender and vanilla. I thought this was like an, a different kind of brand that was totally new to the Dollar Tree, but I think these are, yeah, these are a global beauty care product. So hopefully they should be able to be in all Dollar Trees if this is something you're looking for. There were a bunch of these hair products by Trend Zone really cute. I'm kind of liking these plasticky flowers. And in the nail products, I saw some different brands of solution for nail polish remover. A bunch of the Fruit of the Loom socks. I would totally buy these if we had a need. A little shout out to this product. It's not a new product at all. I just love this vitamin E oil. I put it in my hair at the ends to kind of smooth out frizziness and to possibly prevent dryness or split ends. and more brand name loofahs. I love that they have these loofahs here. This is by Body Benefits, the Super Sudsy Tie-Dye Bath Sponges. I still have not seen the Power Stick deodorant that is a bit more on the natural side. I, I saw people haul those like a while ago now, so I wonder if we're ever gonna get them. These are Skin Old Medics hand sanitizing wipes. There's all sorts of um, combinations like a two pack of 40 and a three pack of 20. And I kind of like that they either took two packs or three packs and put them together because sometimes if you have a bigger pack, it can dry out faster. And my daughter just loved, loved, loved these unicorn sticker puzzles. We're almost completely done with the book. So I'm going to have to come back for these other ones. They were in the pirate theme, a farm theme, and a dragon theme. Some cute lanyards, especially nice for back to school. And if you're looking for colored computer paper, but you don't want to spend the big bucks to get the really big packs of 50 or 100, you could totally get this 30 pack from the Dollar Tree. If you are on the look for school supplies at the Dollar Tree, don't forget to look in the actual school supplies aisle. I found quite a few items that I did not see in the big displays at the front. And how awesome is this folder? Look at that picture, that's so cool.
I have to ask you guys, are these good? These are dark chocolate peanut filled pretzel nuggets. I'm gonna pick up one of these. I'll split this with my husband as a little treat for tonight after dinner. All right, so that is it for this Dollar Tree shop with me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and take care.